Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Melly Bloom and welcome to the land of enchantment. Um, I'm still sporting my dollar store makeup. I don't know if this video is going to be on before that or after that, but I did a full face of makeup for $20 and I don't hate it. But today we're going to do my Sephora play box. I have pre-cut it open so that I didn't have to struggle with it during the video. There's my 50 extra points that amount to that. Anyway, this mutton bag says make it snappy, okay? So I'm going to open it up and pull out the very first product. Uh, I will do like swatches or what have you to see what I think about it, but I'm already got makeup on so I'm not going to apply it. This first product is Bye Bye Pores Pressed It Cosmetics. And this appears to be a airbrush, it says it's airbrush silk pressed anti-aging finishing powder. And it has, I'm going to go ahead and pull it off this paper. Because it's about half off, I don't know why. And it had a little film over the top of it, but here it is. And uh, I don't know if it's finishing powder or... I assume it probably is. I am here. I am putting it on. Ah, mocha. Yeah, it's definitely a finishing powder. I can see it's doing the job though. It is kind of hiding my fine lines and wrinkles. So I like that. I may have to check it out soon. I do love it cosmetics. The next thing, I guess I should read the paper that I threw off to the side. Maybe. <laughs> it says Insta Beauty Bucket List. Wish. List. Yeah. List. So it says, um, It Cosmetics is a translucent pressed powder that reduces the look of pores for a flawless, a flawless airbrushed finish. And it says to sweep onto skin with a fluffy brush as a last step over concealer and foundation to or wear alone for a natural flawless look. I did put it over the top of my foundation and I did see instantly it did kind of help with concealing my lines right here. So the next product I have is a Lotus Youth Preserve Res Rescue Mask. And so I'm assuming this is some type of mask. And I will read the thing that they put on here for it. It says a five minute facial in a jar that targets dull, rough, and dry skin, which I only have in a couple places. For the most part, I have combo skin with an oily T-zone. It says how to use this. Apply a nickel size amount to clean dry skin in circular motions. Leave on for four or five minutes, I'm sorry, and rinse with warm water and use up to three times a week. Well, I'm not going to obviously put it on right now, so I'm just going to give it a little sniff and see what I think. It has little bits of something in there. Ooh. There's the product. It smells actually really nice. It smells very floral. Uh, I like smelling stuff. This is well known. So I will be using this tomorrow as nap. Mat <laughs> Tomorrow is mask night, so I will be wearing that and I'll check in and let you know. Um, the next thing that I'm pulling out is Makeup Forever Ultra HD Perfector. And this is Blurring Skin Tint with Sunscreen. And I'll go ahead and read the little blurb on the paper. And it says... Um, a weightless skin tint that blurs imperfections and protects skin. For sheer coverage, use fingers to blend a dime size amount on clean dry skin for more coverage. Use a foundation brush to use for, for desired coverage. So I'm assuming this is like, maybe like a, a primer and a found. Oh, this is dark. I don't even know if this would have worked on me anyways. But I'm gonna squirt it on me. Oh. Um, yeah, it does have some coverage. There's my tattoo. It is a 
bit dark for me, but I'll try it in a future video. <laughs> I don't know if that's really for me. So that might go into a future giveaway just as one of the samples. So the next product is you oh it's Urban Decay High Five Shine Ultra Cushioned Lip Gloss. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. It's oh god, it's so cute. Oh dang, it's a lip gloss. I don't like lip gloss. Let's read their blurb. Okay, Sudden Sparkle, a on-trend iridescent lip gloss that visually plumps while moisturizes. Apply to a bare lip before snapping a selfie for plump, sparkly lips. Okay, so I didn't like this Dollar Tree lip gloss or lipstick, so kind of scraped up my makeup there. I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to apply this. I said I wasn't going to apply stuff, but it's sparkly and I'm a sucker for sparkles. Let go of me! There we go. Okay. Most just like uh, Girl Scouts Thin Mints. I would assume that it would be the plumping part. So I've came back and it has a light tingle. I guess that's the mint plumping. It has all that glitter that I love. It's really sheer. I like it. Um, I don't typically like lip glosses either, but this one is got some plumping action in it and it's not so intense that it makes me want to cry. So I probably will go ahead and keep this one for myself and I am going to go in here and get another product. The next product is Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For. And the blurb on Skin to Die For is a lightweight primer that blur blurs imperfections and reduces the look of pores. Um, after moisturizer, use your fingers to massage a pea-sized amount into your skin and wear alone or follow with a concealer and foundation. I will use this in the future. I'll go ahead and put a little bit on as long as it doesn't squirt out the tube at me. As it does at high altitude. And it's soft and it is coming out the tube at me, but um, I'll try it in a future video and let you know what I think about it. Um, there is one more thing in here, and it is called, I don't know how to pronounce this perfume. I've tried it before, and I'm going to throw this into uh, my gift bag for a future um, giveaway because I have a little small bottle of it lurking around somewhere, and it's called Mayu. Oh, my God. Mayu, Mayu. And what it says about this is that... It is a soft floral blend that exudes fresh and sophisticated feminine, feminine, uh -oh, feminine, <laughs> femininity with an edge of musk. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to use it because I do have some, but I do want to show you what I'm currently wearing. Here I go out of the, out of the image. That's okay. I'm back. <laughs> oh, come on. Digging, digging, digging. Here we go, I got it. So what I'm currently wearing is, um, I'm gonna ruin the name of this too. Uh, it's this bottle. <laughs> so I took advantage of Ulta's sell and, well, it wasn't a sell, it was get a free bag with perfume purchase. And I bought some Mon Paris Yves Saint Laurent. I'm sure I messed it up. When it comes in this bottle right here, I absolutely, Absolutely adore this perfume. So this is the perfume that I'm wearing. Um, I paid, I believe it was seventy dollars, but I used some points. I had a coupon, and it came down to like fifty bucks for it. And then I got the free bag from Ulta, and it also came with a little tiny one that I'm going to take to work for reapplication. So the other perfume that I'm currently wearing is Muggler Alien. 
And if there's any 90s girls out there, and I know there is, um, if you remember a perfume called Tribe. And it also, ironically, came in a purple bottle. Tribe was my favorite, and then they discontinued it. Um, this smells like a, a more sophisticated, higher-end Tribe. And girls and guys, let me tell you, I wore Tribe every day my whole teenage life. And then they quit selling it, and it broke my heart. But this reminds me of it. It's much more expensive. You can't buy it at a drugstore. But this is on point. And so that's the perfumes that I'm wearing and why I won't be using the little sample bottle. And I'll be just, I'll throw it into a giveaway with some a lot of other stuff, of course. So that was, I believe, the end of my bag. It's empty. <laughs> um, this month it wasn't too bad I would have liked to have gotten a lippy instead of a gloss but hey you can't have it all I wasn't that unimpressed I do love it cosmetics and I will be trying this mask tomorrow I'm I am excited about that um since boxy charm come out I really think they need to up their game a little bit uh because it's half the price of boxy charm and boxy charm you get a palette and you get a whole bunch of stuff so in order to keep people like me um intrigued with your items and excited about stuff that comes we need to have less repeats and we need to have maybe a full size once full size the product thrown in that would be really great so anyway um this is the end of the video and my dollar store makeup is hung in there like a troop and i wanted to say um that i hope that you come back and i know in my heart that you will slay the day bye bye